mind. Well, I didn't know you were still in here. Well, have you heard of knocking? Have you heard of hogging the bathroom? Yeah, well, I'm nearly done, so... Well, next time will you block the door? I don't want to see bits. Yeah, I forgot. So, come on, clear off while I brush my teeth. What are them bruises? <sighs> Look, it's, it's nothing. No, no, what? What are they? I just cracked a few ribs, that's all. How have you done that? Gym. Body combat. Why, are you doing that with Tyson Fury? Oh, Betsy, it's nothing for you to worry about. Now, come on out or we'll both be late. Go on. <laughs> you pretend to walk in. Right, one, two. Oh, you okay? Yeah, we, we were just. I, 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 I was going to work. Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh. I didn't know you were here. No, we just. Uh, I just. Steve let me in five minutes ago and I popped to use the loo. Uh, ours was full of kids. Kids everywhere, crazy. Mm. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Yeah. See ya. After you. <laughs> Just pop by to wish you bon voyage for your trip. Oh, no, we're flying. Uh, well, it's very good of you, but we're, we're not leaving for a few hours, though. Oh, pigs, we need sun cream. I totally forgot. We well, can get some at the airport. Oh, God, no, it's not expensive. Got more money than sent you, Grandad. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Yeah, I feel better if we get it now, and then we can just relax in the lounge. The lounge? Yes, I booked us into the Prestige Lounge. Mm, free food and everything. Travelling in style. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, right, I'll get that sun cream, and there's a few other bits that I could do with as well, so I'll get going. Well, I'll tell you what, don't take too long and uh, use that. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Might pick myself up a few fur coats while I'm at it, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Did you book those extra leg room seats that I told you about? Best make sure you stretch your legs when you're flying. Mm -hmm. Better than that, I've upgraded us to business class. It's a bit pricey, isn't it? Yeah, worth it, though. I've never travelled business class before. No, me neither. Oh, well, you've got to have a bit of fun, you know, you don't live forever. Are you sure you can afford that, Grandad? No, oh, don't worry about that. It's fine. No, 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 no. You can't have your cake yet. I'm going to open our present. Oh, no, not yet. You've got to wait till everybody's here. Come on, sit down, sit down. Come on. Right, I best get off. Oh, can you not stay a bit longer? No, it's not really my scene. Oh, you've got murders to catch, haven't you, love? <laughs> well, thanks for the presents. The kids will love them. No problem. See you later. See ya. Flipping heck. What's up with you? Jesus, this flight's got here. I've lost track of time. I'm going to be late for him again. Oh, this is carnage, this. I'll be back as quick as I can. Oh, morning, Billy. Sorry, I'm rushing. All right. Hi, hi. Just Tim brought this round the quads. Oh, they're being spoiled rotten today. Well, Paul bought it a few months ago, just in case he... No, don't, don't, don't you start. Yeah, sorry. Now you're going to get me going. That's lovely, that is. Hey, kids. This present here. It's from Uncle Paul. It's Paul coming. No, love, it's not. We've been through this. Yeah, but you'll be here in spirit, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I need a love today. Loved it! Where about we we'll open the presents? Soon. Soon we can open the presents. <sighs> what? You don't have to keep checking on me. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the factory now. I'm taking it seriously. Stop nagging me. Mum, what day did Joel get killed? I don't know, did people at work were just, just talking about it. Tell me. Why are you being like this? I just, I just want to know. Mum. Mum. Morning. Just getting my phone. Is that 
the Joel file? Couldn't possibly say. So who did him in then? You know I can't discuss police business. Who am I gonna tell? <laughs> yeah, all right, fair enough. All right, well, why don't we pretend it's a TV show called Weatherfield Blues? Then it's all made up, isn't it? Arguably. So, a lawyer, Johnny Darlings, is dead. <gasps> Turned up in a river, drowned, probably suicide. Case closed. But wait, according to forensics, that is them, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, according to forensics, they reckon he was dead before he went in the water. So who killed him? No idea. Come on, you can take an educated guess. Well, we tend to avoid guesses. Fine, then a copper's hunch. Right, well, we need to look at the evidence. What evidence have you got? Sorry, what evidence has Weatherfield Baloo's got? Did he have any injuries? He did, didn't he? So he was definitely murdered. But forensics may have found that he had bruising on his knuckles. So he put up a fight before he was killed. Get the woman a badge. <sighs> that makes sense. It was a wrong and was Johnny Darlings. Right, well, you keep all that to yourself or I could get you in trouble. Even though it's all made up. Yes, should I, should I, like, uh, text her or not? No. Okay, play cool. You'll see her at the party later. Can I even go to the party? I mean, she said she wanted some space. Hey, you see? See, he's right, man. I mean, I don't even know if she wants me there. Well, but what does your heart tell you, Devendra? Hmm? Well, you know, to, like, uh, pick her up and squeeze her up and... No, 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 I said your heart. <laughs> well, I don't know. I said that I love her, yeah, I miss her. Okay, but it's too soon for that. Hey, she's only just dumped you. Excuse me, I wasn't dumped. Can I say she needed space? There's a big difference. Well, then the answer is clear. You need to sweep the lady off her feet. No. I, I agree with Mary. Yeah, you would because you've got no idea. <laughs> I've been in more relationships than you. I think I picked. Now, up children, there's no need to bicker. Mm. We're trying to assist your father. Okay, but Mary, I think we might just have to accept that he's beyond our help. Come on, man, one little text. It's really not gonna hurt, is it? Well, would Serrano de Bergerac send a text? Go big or go home. Mm -hmm. uh, no, don't listen to him. Dad. Yeah. Bernie is still grieving over Paul. Yeah. Okay, and she's fuming about Chesney. The last thing she wants is you hassling her. But listen, it's, it's called being attentive, all right? Thought, thoughtful, you know, caring. Uh, and and there's no harm in, in, in letting her know what she's missing. <laughs> a grand romantic gesture. Exactly. No, I give up. No. So that everything? I think so. You okay? Yeah, fine. Right, I'm off to the station. Hey, any more updates on the case? Not since we spoke five minutes ago. Uh, Kit's trying to find the bloke who killed Joel. He says it was a bloke. I don't know why you bother. Hmm. Good riddance after what he did. You know, Ryan used to live with Lauren. Is that right? Yeah. Not for long, though. She blackmailed him. Where were you in the night of the 27th of September? What? Uh, I don't know. Um, I was at home with Carla and Bobby. Very convenient. No, it's true. They'll give you a statement. It's alibis, isn't it? And we all know how reliable they are. Almost worse than no alibi at all. Maybe I should bring you all in. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Come. We, we've got nothing to do with it. Well, what about Daisy? She was blackmailed as well. You never mentioned that to me. Why would I? It's, it's not really relevant. Well, you seemed very interested in the case earlier. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's just because I'm nosy. I'm very nosy. Tell them, Ryan, tell them I'm very nosy. <laughs> Relax, guys. I'm just winding you up. <sighs> Don't do that, all right? I'm nervous around coppers as it is. Why would that be? Dodgy past. That bit is true. Well, you... Is it awkward working with your ex? Not really. Don't think I could do it, me. Yeah, it's all right. Still mate. Ah, oh, that's good. Grown up. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm totally over it, you know. Moved on. Too nosy for me. Mm. See you later. See you, mate.
that you? No. Are you hiding from me? Betsy, you know I can't be seen with you. I just want to talk to someone. Well, maybe talk to someone else. Someone who's not going to get arrested. I'm worried about my mum. Why? Something's not right. She's got bruises on her side, cracked ribs. Said they were from the gym. Well, there you go, then. Nah, you don't get messed up like that because of the gym. Well, she is a copper. So? So? Coppers arrest people, robbers, druggies. Maybe there was a fight. You know what it's like around here. Why would she lie about it, though? You're gonna have to ask her. Why have you got a bruise on your cheek? Because I have. Why? I've got in a fight with a copper. Oh, really? No. And I'll do one before I get in more bother, will you? Do you know when the police question you about Joel? Did they say when he was killed? 27th of September, about midnight. Sushi. Just a little tray of sushi. No, sorry. Well, you have. You've eaten it because the tray's in the bin. I'm gonna have that for lunch. Oh, I did have some sushi actually. Yeah. Why would you lie about that? I forgot. Yeah, it comes so easily to you, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, there's an all. I don't know. You're working. What does it look like, Ryan? You in a bad mood? I wasn't. I know what this is about. Yes, me trying to work and you blabbering your head off at me. You're upset because of Lisa. What? No rubbish. Why don't you go talk to her? Because there's nothing to say. I got the wrong end of the stick, didn't I? Yeah, there might be reasons. Yes, like she doesn't like me. I doubt it. She doesn't even know you. My guess is that she's probably got a guard up for some reason. Yeah, well, that's her business. Yeah, well, it's no good denying your feelings. I mean, I tell people that I'm over Daisy, but probably not. Then why don't you go and talk to Daisy about your precious feelings? No. This ship has sailed, but yours hasn't. HMS Lisa Swain still sitting in the harbour, waiting for the old Carla torpedo. Boo! What are you on about now? I don't know. Just... Just go talk to her, innit? <sighs> Find out what's going on. Don't have any regrets. It's just so big. It just takes up the whole of the bed. I mean, and he sleeps like a starfish, you know, just arms and legs everywhere. Are you listening to me? Well, yeah, of course I am. George has bought a starfish. Oh, I don't know why I bother. What's funny? Uh, Cassie's seen a dog that looks like Noel Edmonds. Huh? Yeah, funny. Yeah. Getting on well with her? Yes, sir. I don't know. Man, what do you mean? Ah, oh, ex-druggy. Rough as a badger's. Don't know anything about her, do we? Well, I had my doubts at first, but, you know, she's a good laugh, likes a pint, supports county. Yeah, well, that's what you say about Tim. Out. Oh. Uh. Hey. Ah, uh, hello, my friend. So where to, prison or court? Actually, I want to have a word about my granddad. Well, what's the matter? I'm a bit worried about this holiday. He's going to be Cassie a bit, right? Yeah, that's what bothers me. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, he's known her for five minutes and they're off to Portal together. No expense spared, the airport lounge, business class. Business class? Mm, that's fancy. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm a bit worried he's getting into debt or something. Credit cards, I don't know. I think she might be fleecing him. Ah! Oh, here he is, Jet Set Willie! Oh, you back then, how was it? Great, yeah. I think I'm having a skier now. Oh, yeah, that's a good job, being a skier. Yeah, if only I had the lessons. Yeah, maybe, when we win the lottery. Right, let's get this party started. Woo! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. What's up? I've got another shift. Oh, you've only just had one. Oh, no, I better go. 
Oh, can't you say no? Jebbit, if I don't take it, I'll get less jobs. It's the birthday party. I've only just got back. We need the money. I'm sorry. Have fun, you lot. Where? Flipping devil, Anne, is this? Mm. Where's my daddy gone? He's going to work, love, but he'll be back soon. You all right? You haven't seen my file, have you? I must have misplaced it. Yeah, you left it on a bar. I'll put it here for you. Here. Didn't read it, did you? No. Of course not. It's confidential police business, that is. I didn't open the file at all. Because if you did, I'd have to arrest you. Or you'd be suspended for leaving it in the pub. Fair point. Ah, give me once. You won't get me with your wind-ups again. <sighs> Best go and pack up my stuff. I hate moving. Yeah, I've been thinking about, um, Daisy, about what I said earlier. Remind me. I, well, I told you that I was over her, and, uh, don't think I am. Well, it takes time, doesn't it? And you two have been through a lot. We have. Do you want to get back together? No. No, it wasn't right. Just, still miss her, though. That's fine. But there's no point dwelling on it. We'll go out later. I don't know. Uh... I do. Just a few drinks. Right, you keep a lookout. I'll see what I can find. But I don't think we should be doing this. You read about it all the time. He's vulnerable. Yeah, but Cassie won't rip Ken off. You know, it's not like that. He's had his head turned by an attractive woman. It happens all the time. He likes her, that's all. Oh, yeah. Maybe she's turned your head, too. What do you mean by that? Ah, here it is. You found some, eh? It's his finance folder. Bills in there. Nothing unusual, though. And what were you expecting to find? You were supposed to be keeping a lookout. Yeah, up the stairs. I didn't know he was going to sneak in the back. This is my house, and I wasn't sneaking. Unlike you two. <sighs> Cards on the table. I'm worried about you. That's why he made me do all this. It's... And what exactly are you doing? This holiday with Cassie, you're spending a fortune on it. That's nobody's business but mine. But how can you afford it on your pension? Have you remortgaged the house? Adam is just worried that Cassie might be taking advantage, that's all. Certainly not. <laughs> if you must know, I've had a little win on the premium bonds. Yeah, well, she hasn't shut you out yet. Mm. I took your advice, man. Extra deodorant? Mm -hmm. No, no, the other one, the other, the, 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 the romantic gesture. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh. Yeah, because you're right. You know, go big. Yeah. Just let her know just what she means to me. She don't tell me you've got all cliche with chocolates or flowers. Come on, man, what did you take me for? It's all like the village idiot. Well, like someone who's not okay with social norms. In a good way. Listen, I know I'm doing all right. And this is going to blow her away. What is it? All in good time, son. All in a good time. There you go. One pint of black currant and tap water. Last of the big spenders. Oh. That's hardly going to help our flagging coffers, is it, Craig? I'm trying to be healthy. Oh, Craig, uh, can we have a word? I need you to help me out. This ain't gonna get me into trouble your mum, is it? No, not at all. We're having an argument, right? Went to the cinema a few weeks back, and I swear down it was the 27th, but she said she was working that night. Was she? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, think. My, my pocket money's riding on this, and you know what she's like. Well, um, um, the 27th. That was the night that Joel Deering died, wasn't it? Was it? it? Maybe. Do you know who did that yet? Me? No idea. A word on the grapevine is that whoever did it probably took a bit of the beating. Joel's knuckles were all bruised before he died. Now I remember. Your mum, she clocked off early that night. Uh, so, no, she went to work. But then she didn't come back in to work. She was banging on about Joel. She seemed proper wound up. 
What did she say? She just wanted to know where he was. Uh, then she left, I think. She went home. Does that help you better? I don't know. Actually, Lisa, I'm really glad you came in because I... Mum, oh, yeah? Betsy, where have you been? Did you kill Joel? What? No, of course no, I didn't. I, I know there's something going on here. Betsy, just calm down. Maybe we should discuss this at home. She lied. She said she was working the night Joel got murdered, but you weren't. You clocked off early, didn't you? I, I can't remember. I might have done. Then you went back to the station later on. Craig told me you were trying to find Joel, then you left. You went to go and find him. No, I didn't. Mum, you got injured when you killed him. You had bruises on your side, crack ribs. You had to get strong painkillers the next day. Oh, my God, this is ridiculous. Oh, Tell me the truth. What did you do? Did you, did you kill Joel? Serious? Apparently Joel had bruises on his knuckles, which means he put up a fight with whoever killed him. And where did you hear that? Daisy, from, from the pub. Right, a highly reliable informant. Why are you not taking this seriously? I can assure you I am. I believe my own daughter is accusing me of murder. Yeah, come on, Betsy. Why lie about working that night? Why hide your bruises? Well, I don't have to tell you anything because it's clear you've made up your mind as to what happened that night. Forget it. Can you believe that? Well, I mean, she, she does raise some questions. Oh, not you as well. No, I'm oh. not implying that you... Lisa! How much did you win? £50,000. What? And you thought you'd keep that to yourself? <laughs> My money. So, hang on, you've been sitting on 50k? And Amy lost all of her money to that institute. Well, yes, I did think about giving something to Amy, but after I've had a conversation with Cassie, I decided... Oh, Cassie knows. Yes, as you said, I should be spending some on myself while I can still enjoy it. Yeah, with her in Porto. Oh, why not? I mean, she's right, I'm not getting any younger. Might not be able to go abroad for much longer. And why shouldn't I take a companion? Someone whose company I greatly enjoy. Anyway. If you'll excuse me, I'll go and finish packing. I don't like this. No, me neither. One of us needs to have a word with her. Yeah. What, me? You're the one who's tight with her. It's like, we're tight? Whatever. She'll take it better from you. Here you go, officer. Cheers. Oh, hey. I should have that list of red cards for How you by the end. How dare you discuss confidential information with my daughter? Huh? Telling her my whereabouts whilst on duty. And you? Do you make a habit of gossiping about murder investigations? I wasn't aware gossiping was a crime. Well, it should be because you're filling people's heads with rubbish. Actually, everything I said came from an inside source. Oh. And I can guess who that might be. They weren't talking out of turn. It was a hypothetical conversation about a hypothetical case. Well, hypothetically, if you don't stop putting wild ideas into people's heads, I'm going to do my best to make life very difficult for you. Oh, come on. Get it off your chest. What? In my opinion, the best way to get over a woman is to let it all out. I mean, like I said, you know, I ended it. And it was the right thing to do, but... Why was it the right thing to do? She's not in love with me. Tough one. No. I mean, it's probably going nowhere anyway. I mean, we're very different, you know? She can be a bit high-maintenance. Kind of got that. Yeah, she can be exhausting. How so? Oh, I mean, 
She needs constant reassurance for the way she looks. But, which is, you know, stupid because she looks amazing, always. She's gorgeous. And she needs gifts. She says that the language of love that speaks to her best is giving, but oh, I'll get her the wrong gift. She's not happy. What kind of gifts does she like? Yeah, anything fancy, really, you know? Little posh cakes, fiddly bits on. Chocolate, but only 7% cocoa and above. She sounds very particular. Yeah, and then some, yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, she's got the most trashy taste in TV. Complete opposite everything else. What kind of shows does she like? Oh, every reality show going. Made in Chelsea, Married at First Sight. Oh, and the best. Real Housewives. Honestly, mate, I don't know how you stuck it out for so long. Uh, hey, this is a great idea. Feeling better by the minute. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Happy birthday to you. Wait a minute. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grace, Leon, Harris, and Alec. Did you say Alex? Yes. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Right, make a wish. Go on. Yay! Yeah. Look at you. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, can I have your attention, please, because I'm going to amaze you by making something fun, simple, simple balloons into animals of your choice. Did you know animals. I could do balloons? No, no. What animal would you like me to make? Tortoise. Yeah. Lion. Yeah. Princess. Two on camel. <laughs> How about a dog? Yeah. So he actually can. Mm, no. You like dogs? A dog game is an animal with four legs. And ta-da! Oh, is that a dog? Yeah, riff! <laughs> or how about two snakes? Oh. What are you telling me could do this? I can't afford a kid's entertainer, can I? So you've got someone who's not entertaining at all. Uh-oh. There's something wrong with this balloon, isn't there? Are you sure it's not just you? Oh. <laughs> There's something inside it, isn't there? Can I have a volunteer, please? How about Nana? I'd rather not. Nana Bunny, please. Now, there is something in there. Would you like to help me get it out? What is he doing? No idea. Oh! oh. Nothing. Oh, this is a ring. It's a ring. Oh, no. It's a ring. <sighs> Perhaps it's an engagement ring. Bernadine Winter, will you marry me? Got your text. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking about you all day. Mm, you've been on my mind and all. What were you thinking? Grab a quickie before I jet off, eh? <laughs> Actually, no, it's more about Ken. You see, now I understand why you're so interested in him. What do you mean? He won 50 grand, didn't he? On the premium bonds. Coincidence? I mean, I was going to say, but oh, I just... And apparently, like you told him not to give any of it to Amy, his granddaughter. We'll spend it on holiday with you. He's 85 years of age. I mean, why shouldn't he spend a bit of cash on himself? Yeah, he's not with himself, though, is he? But I didn't ask to go to Porto. He invited me. No, you manipulated him into asking you. Yeah, is that what you think about me? Well, it won't be the first time you've used a bloke for money or sex. Is that what you think last night was about? Well, it's either that or you're keeping me sweet while you fleece me father-in-law. Do you know what, Steve? Ken had made ten of you. And if he has had a win on the bonds, why do you think he didn't tell anyone? Well, I don't know. Cos maybe he knows the real gold diggers are closer to home. Thank you. I thought it was the quads party today. Yeah, it is. But somebody ruined it. Tantrums and tiaras. They are that age, I guess. Mm -hmm. No, it... it wasn't one of the kids.
I know it was a shock, but I meant it. How dare you make the quads party all about you? Mm. That wasn't my intention. Really? Because it sure looked that way. No, I thought it'd be fun and spontaneous. I thought it'd make you smile. I thought it'd make the kids smile. No, you didn't. You thought I'll get back in a good box, I'll propose to her, and then she'll forgive me for everything I've done wrong. That's really cynical. As if I didn't have enough to deal with today. The first birthday without Apollo. Gemini's all over the shop and no Chesney because of you. You know, I barely slept a wink last night. And I'm trying to keep everybody's spirits up. I've still not had confirmation about the space launch. And then you fling a proposal at me, completely out of the blue. Yeah, and I'm sorry. And you're right, the timing was really bad, but that's typical, isn't it? That's, that's me. But I just wanted to show you just how much I care. You know, just how much I love you. Because I really do. I know. But I'm not in the right headspace to feel it back. I think we should call it quits. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. How did you get past the front desk? Me? Oh, I just told him how were your daughter's boss and that there was an emergency. No flies on you. Well, it's kind of not a lie, is it? I think you owe Betsy an explanation. Oh, you do, do you? Look, Lisa, obviously, you didn't kill anyone. But you were lying about where you were that night. It's got nothing to do with Joel. OK, I believe you. So why can't you tell Betsy the truth? Because I'm worried about how she'll react. Has this got so much to do with them bruises you've got? Right, all right, I'll tell you. And then you might understand why I can't tell Betsy. Okay. I, uh, I got itchy feet waiting for uniform to find Joel, so I went looking for him. I didn't find him, but what I did see was some bloke trying to snatch this woman's bag. Then he got in his car. I was trying to clock the reg, and he clipped me on my side as he drove off, hence the crack ribs. He hit you with his car? Yeah. I, um... <sighs> I'd... I didn't report it because I just... I didn't want to be made to have time off. OK, so why can't you tell Betsy all this? Because her mother died on duty. Becky was chasing an assailant and he jumped into a getaway car and she tried to give chase and... phone for backup, but they, uh... They, um... Uh, they spun round and drove straight at her. Purposely knocked her down. She, uh... at the scene. Sorry. Telling Betsy was the hardest moment of my life. For months she begged me not to go into work, terrified that the same thing was going to happen to me. So you see, I, I couldn't possibly tell her what happened that night. It would just trigger all the, all the fear and grief and... I won't let her go through that again. Listen, I get it, Lisa. I do, honestly, it's just... You're gonna have to tell us something. Because she ain't gonna let this go. Mason. Mason! Betsy, what part about keeping your distance is not clear to well, you? I, I'm, what? I'm worried about you. What? 
Why? Well, aside from the bruise on your yeah, cheek... Yeah, which I've told you about. I saw you raiding the bins earlier. What? What do you say? What, it, what do you mean, it, raiding it, bins? Is it something to do with, with, with your brothers? I, I don't... I want to help. No, I what? said no! Well, you're lying! You sound just like your mum. Don't you dare say that. Mm, I'll have a touch of nerve about that. Because maybe, maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one with family problems and it's not me. You know what, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we, we should keep yeah. our distance. Yeah, we should. Finally, she gets it! Hey, you are. Hey! How was the party? Unbelievable. Oh, man. Sorry I missed it. No, really, it was. Dave proposed to me, ma'am. You what? Yeah. He had the ring inside a balloon. It was just as well, really, because he couldn't make balloon animals for toffee. We <laughs> saved you the face. What did she say? No. Nothing? No. It's just left. Oh, that's all my fault. How is it your fault? Oh, she's angry, isn't she? Because Dev sacked me. No, it won't be that. Do you know what I reckon she just had, like, a moment of clarity where she saw herself spending the rest of her life with a man who thinks waistcoats are cool? Maybe. Just wish our Paul had been here. I miss him. Come here. Yeah, I'll just check if we've got a driver free, Mrs. McCulloch. Um, we won't have anything for half an hour. Sorry, we're busy. Can you not wait? All right, sorry, love. You are losing us jobs. What's with the sulk? I can't cope with Mrs. McCulloch banging on about her irritable bowel problem. Well, if you'd taken Cassie and Ken to the airport, I'd have had a driver free. Well, they missed the flight. But you and Cassie had a lover's tiff. Well, not lover's what? Hey, have they gone? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, not listening. Did you speak to her? Yeah, um, she said it's up to Ken what he does with his money. She's going to rinse some dry over there. What could we do? Well, nothing about the holiday. But when they get back, I think we might need to have a subtle family intervention. <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, there's nothing subtle about your family. I thought you weren't listening. <gasps> I lied. I have a confession to make. Is it you, sir? <sighs> Not that sort of confession. Shame. I might have dropped you when it was swaying. How come? I let slip to her daughter that Joel put up a fight with his killer and she obviously went blabbing to her mum. Why would you do that? She was in her asking Craig all kinds of questions, like if her mum was working. I didn't say your name, but... I think she knows where I got my info from. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. I can handle Swain. It's odd that Betsy was asking questions, though. Swain got so angry. She basically threatened me. Did she? Pretty much. I mean, I'm not worried either, but it was strange. I worked up she got. Oh, Dev. I am genuinely lost for words which doesn't often happen. I mean, the last time I was lost for words was when Ben Shepherd was stroking a pussycat on Good Morning Britain that had got away from him, and he said, I'm not a professional pussy holder. Oh, Ben. It's a lot of words for someone who's lost for words. Uh, I mean, maybe she, she's just feeling, you know, too emotional to handle it. Oh, she was furious. Said I was selfish and the timing was wrong. No, I'm sure she doesn't actually want to break up with her. Sounded sure. I think I've just lost the woman I love.
Making a brew, do you want one? Uh, yeah, thanks. Sorry, were you hanging out? Yeah, but you're welcome to join me. I was just going to indulge in my guilty pleasure. Oh, what's that? You'll laugh. Try me. I'm kind of addicted to Real Housewives of Cheshire. No way. I just find them women fascinating, especially Lauren. Well, yes, yes, it's it's all about Lauren. I'm rewatching the early series. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe you watched Real Housewives of Cheshire. I didn't think any blokes watched it. Ryan would literally groan when I put it on. What can I say? I like all reality TV. I just like watching different kinds of people. Maybe else with a job. I'm sure, I bet. If anyone's ever murdered an elderly edge with a champagne bottle, then you know what to do. Totally would. <laughs> anyway, I'll make that brew. Help yourself some chocolate. It's dark, I'm afraid. Dark's the best. Isn't it just... <sighs> yep. Oh, thank you so much. I've needed that today. Are you not having one? Mm. Not nah, a couple of beers with Kit. Not for school, mate. Mm. Why are you running around with Kit? Is he a bit of a... No, he's a good bloke. Mm. I know him and Lisa don't get on. That's putting it mildly. <sighs> Talking to Lisa. I'd rather not. Oh, what happened? Did you bring up the moment? No, the things kind of took over. Like what? Well, if you must know, her and Betsy aren't in a great place. Lisa was kind of lying to her about the night Joel died and well, Betsy got suspicious. And before you ask, there was an explanation. Why well, is she lying? She's got her reasons, all right. But for what it's worth, I think she's wrong. I mean, you don't always tell me the truth. What do you mean by that? The night you died, you said you were popping out to turn the factory lights off. Yeah, I did. But you were ages. And? I mean, how long did it take to turn the light off? Well, I had to check some paperwork. Ryan, I went to the factory and came straight home. Right, OK, good. Because I told the police me and you and Bobby were here all night, so... if something else did happen... It didn't. Next on ITV1, beginning a brand new two-part documentary as His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales confronts the scale of the homelessness crisis across the UK. Prince William, we can end homelessness in a moment.